Night side, I'm Scott Gross. Arizona's new law expanding school vouchers says it offers a choice for every public student to attend a private school. News 11's Jacqueline Aguilar has the details on what this latest education reform will look like. Governor Doug Ducey announced 1.1 million students will now qualify for the Arizona School Voucher Expansion Program. About 12,000 students are currently using one of these vouchers. Yuma Lutheran, a private school in our area, says it currently has over 100 military students or students with special needs enrolled with this voucher. If they're used to an environment where they've either been in a private school before or a small um, Dodea school on base somewhere, it's nice that they can come to a smaller school and have funding available to help pay for that. But not everyone is for this expansion. Public school advocates are gathering signatures to block the bill from going into effect until the November general election. Principal Schiller says private schools are still a great option for a student looking for a different environment. We can serve other students that um, may get overlooked in the public schools or class sizes are just too big for them. It's an opportunity for them to be able to get into a different school and um, be able to pay for it if they don't have the funding to be able to pay for it. Yuma Lutheran plans to extend the voucher program to all Yuma students by next school year. We would probably offer it to our current families first. Um, right now we're almost at capacity at our school and so we only have a few spots open. We would definitely be open to more students, especially next year. The Arizona Department of Education says if a student makes the switch, they would get money to go to a private school after unenrolling from their public school. They would get up to $7,000 to attend a private school with the rest being out of pocket, which is still too much money for some families. The latest education reform bill wouldn't go into effect until September 24th. You can find more information about applying for a voucher on our website, kymay.com. Reporting in Yuma, Jacqueline Aguilar, News 11.